So again, every recursive proof starts with something. And then we've got to go, all right, how do we get to the next one? Okay, what I'm going to suggest is you go look at the previous term and then add on that number of the term that you're on. Okay, so just like we did before, and I'm going to get my red color out just so we can show here, right? Um, a question you guys would get in an exam or in a textbook or that kind of thing within the course will hand you the explicit formula at this point and say, off you go, start the proof by induction. But I wonder if we could work out what a hypothesis, an explicit formula might look like. We already know what the first term is. And for reasons that are going to become very clear in a second, I hope, I'm going to draw this rather than just do the algebra. Okay? So here is term one. It's one. What's term two going to look like? I'm going to add two on, right? So, gonna... so there, there is term two. I need a new color. <laughs> You're cheating, miss. You already, you know too much math. No, that's fine. That's okay. Well, right, okay. Term three, I've got to start with term two, which looks like this. And then I've got to add on the n, right? That's what gets me to the next term, which in this case is three. Okay, now, the numbers are one and then three and then six. They are called the triangular numbers because hopefully self-evident, okay? But now I want you to have a think, well, how might I work out a formula for this? Um, there, now that you guys are in year 12 properly, you actually know more than one way to work out like the area of a triangle. That's what we're trying to calculate, right? Um, what are the two main ways that you know to work out area of a triangle? Half base times height. This is the one you learnt a long time ago. What's the other way? Half base times height cos c. Okay, so we could go we could go all the way to yeah yeah yeah. It's it's half. It's still half. Then you've got to look at the other two sides, and then you've got to say oh I've got to relate them in some way if they're not like right angled and that kind of thing, right? Now I'm just going to suggest cool, but slightly overpowered for this, right? I've got nice like right angled looking things, right? So the half base height formula, it comes from the fact that every triangle is half of a rectangle or a square, I mean a square is a rectangle, that fits around it, right? So what would be the other half? What would it look like? Well in this case, like can you imagine, here's the half of a rectangle. Does that make sense? This is the whole rectangle now, and this is the half that I want. This would be half of that rectangle. Do you agree? What are the dimensions of these rectangles? Three by two. This one's three by two. And this one is four by three. You're seeing a pattern. Okay, help me. Help me to articulate this now, right? Because what I really want is get to an I want to get to an N. Some, some generalized version, right? So what's the relationship between like what, where do you see numbers from these things coming from, from here? N and N plus Very good, right? So here's the N, which there's three, there's two. This is always one more than that, right? So this is the N plus one, and this is the N plus one. Okay, so my hypothesis is my half base height is for term n, it's half my base, or I mean, I guess algebraically it would be nice to put this one first, right? Here's um, an n, and then my other dimension will be n plus 1. That is an explicit formula. Can you see it doesn't depend on the previous terms, right? So like I said before, ordinarily the question would say, okay, recursive formula, explicit formula, off you go. Can you see why, like, I, I think this is actually the part that's, we're doing some mathematics to think and try and work out, like, I, what I always got cross with whenever I did proof by induction, I was like, wait a second, but you already know this is true, otherwise you wouldn't have handed it to me as a question. Why are you asking me to prove it, right? It's like, well, it wasn't always the case. Someone had to work this thing out, and then someone had to say, okay, are my instincts right though? Can I, can I prove this um, rigorously using induction, right? So I'm going to pause right there. When the kid tells you, no, it's, not. <laughs> it's like, no, I think the question's wrong, sir. It's like, it's like, oh no, have I done something wrong in my exam? I'm going to stop for a moment. Uh, I'm sick to death of the sound of my own voice, and I want you guys to have a have a whirl. Um, test, assume, prove, and um, call me over if you um, have a suggestion or are hitting a roadblock.